Right now, we return to the crisis at the border. While state and federal leaders fight, point the finger, and serve political agendas, the Eagle Pass Fire Department EMTs continue showing up for work. Every day, these men and women respond to emergencies amidst record-breaking surges of migrants entering the U.S. through their small city. In the last year, they've seen a lot of death. It's hard to hear about, but tonight it's through their eyes. We highlight the harsh reality of the border crisis and the enormous toll it's taking. Every single shift I'd show up, it was a body record from one to five body recoveries uh, per shift. The Eagle Pass Fire Department responds to search and rescue and recoveries along the Rio Grande. It's not federal border agents or state soldiers who answer those calls consistently. It's this small local team of EMTs. You know, in my 32 years, I had never seen this much traumatic incidents. People get swept away by the rapids and sometimes uh, we see multiple get swept away by the river. And that land is Mexico. All they've got to do is swim across the Rio Grande to get to the United States. It's what they've worked so hard for. But what a lot of them don't take into account is how dangerous the water of the Rio Grande is. Where we are right now is incredibly choppy. The current is so strong, but not strong enough for migrants to give up. When, when I first started as fire chief, we'd probably get about maybe 10 calls a year. Uh, for uh, migrant drownings. Ordinarily, EPFD chief Manuel Melo says migrant groups are maximum 50 people here in Eagle Pass. In 2023, that changed. When you're talking about two, three, four thousand people crossing at one time and the ambulance running nonstop, it, it's just putting a, a crush on our, on our fire department. Especially the last four months of last year. Record-breaking migrant numbers means record-breaking emergency numbers. The hospital was getting overwhelmed. More drownings, more death. There's face, some faces you don't forget, and especially when it involves children, it just hits the hardest. I said the last couple of weeks, it was nothing but children from five to 12 year, years of age. It, it's taken a toll on my guys. It got to a point where, you know what, I don't want to see their little faces. I just, let's do what we do, put the bodies in the body bags, and I just couldn't see their faces. It's something Chief Mello says he's having to plan for. This year, several EMTs quit the job. It simply became too much. We are working on some grants to try to get these guys some help. Uh, so in the future, they won't end up with depression or anything worse like suicide. Driving past the river brings a new memory at each turn. In this area, apparently the water had swept at least 12 individuals, including kids and females. That day we were only able to retrieve three or four, three or four of them. And I believe they were all brothers and sisters. It's hard to hear, hard to talk about, but the Eagle Pass Fire Department wants the rest of the state and country to understand. It's affected overall everything, the businesses, the community, the people, us, uh, first responders, uh, law enforcement. I think we've all taken a big hit from this. Border towns and cities like Eagle Pass bear the brunt of the ongoing crisis. Where they talk about Chicago, they talk about uh, New York, well, they've got big budgets. We've got a small budget and it's a small town, 30,000 people at the most. Things calmed down in January, but February and March, numbers normally pick back up. If we, we get another uh, big group of immigration, I know it's gonna be rough. I know we're gonna go through another rough couple of months. Chief Mello told me we have to secure our borders. As soon as the migration stops, my problem will be resolved. Instead, political analysts say both sides will continue using the crisis as an excuse to grandstand and continue blaming the opposition. The consequence? The city and its first responders wait to again be overwhelmed with rescues and death, a reality most politicians will never have to face.